Family and friends gathered today to honor the man who gave his life trying to save others during the deadly shooting rampage at the Potomac Avenue Metro Station two weeks ago. Longtime Metro mechanic Robert Cunningham was remembered not only as a hero, but also as a loving father, husband, and friend to so many who knew him. News 4's Mark Seagraves reports from Cunningham's funeral. Robert Cunningham's wife, their four children, and Cunningham's dog, Duke, watched as Cunningham was laid to rest today. During a service at St. Camillus Catholic Church in Silver Spring, Cunningham's wife spoke of their love for each other and their family. I write to the memory of the hero Robert. My love, you gave me two wonderful sons, Anthony and Kelly. You also adopted my children, Daniel and Sophia. You showed me what love is. I thank you for the 15 years of happiness, for keeping our home united, Without a doubt, we were made to be together in this life in order to create this family. Throughout today's service, Cunningham was remembered as a hero for trying to disarm a gunman inside the Potomac Avenue Metro Station. A hero. A hero who gave his life protecting a woman and others on a Metro train platform. Robert Cunningham, Bob or Ham, died trying to prevent what easily could have escalated into yet another mass shooting. Your husband, your father, your colleague, and your friend is a hero, and we will always remember Robert as such. After the service, Cunningham's procession rode past the Potomac Avenue station. The 64-year-old had worked for the transit agency for 20 years. Then, on to Cunningham's resting site, Congressional Cemetery, just a few blocks away, where friends, family, and his dog said their goodbyes. His wife, Alyssa. I ask God to help me guide this family in love and in harmony like you would have wished. I love you, and I honor you for being part of my life. I love you forever. Your companion and wife, Elisa. At Congressional Cemetery, Mark Seagraves, News 4. The man who shot and killed Cunningham is due in court this Thursday for his first preliminary hearing. Isaiah Trotman has a history of mental health issues, but a motive hasn't been determined.